the brand kits over on the left hand side if you scroll down it's under tools and it's called brand it has a little crown next to it which means it is a pro feature so if i click on brand i have two brand kits set up for two different businesses i can click on the one i want to look at so i'm going to click this one and then it gives me all of my imagery here. It gives me all of my color palettes that I'm using within the brand. And it gives me my three subheading, or my main heading, my subheader and my body fonts and the option to upload additional fonts. And then here we have the add new, which will give me a whole new um, blank brand kit to create a new one. So that's the brand kit. It's right there, but it is a pro only feature. If we want to create one from a template, for example, you've got this big search box in the middle. So we can type in um, brand kit, hit enter, and it will bring up all of these beautiful templates that have been created for you to create your own brand kit. So these are amazing let's just pick one here i'll go for the very first one i've clicked on it it's opened it out as an editable template for me to now change this little bar at the bottom tells me how close it is so i can zoom in if i go along i can zoom in then i can use my mouse to scroll up and down so i can see what i'm doing so much clearer I can now edit this template to suit my brand. Everything on here is changeable. So I've got these colors, for example, just circles of color. And I want to add in my own branding color. So I will select the color, go over to this color block here, and it opens up my brand kit. But we don't have a brand kit at the moment because we're creating one. So it also gives me um colors are already in the template and if i scroll down i can click see all under photo colors and it picks out the main five colors from each image within the template so if i have an image i love i can pop it into the template then i can find all the colors from that image to use okay so i'm going to go up here and i'm going to click this one because this is where i can create a new color and then I can drag my little white circle around to find the color I want to add. I can change the colors on this bar and then I can change the shade or the tint using this round cir white circle above until I find the color I want to use. It automatically changes it here for me. I can click on the next one, click on the white cross, and then I can do exactly the same again until I found all of my branding colors that I want to use within my business, for example. So let's just add in five random colors that we could use as our um, branding colors. We'll go for a dark one. Uh, it's nice to have light colors, but sometimes you need a dark one, especially if you want to use it for text. It works really well to have a dark color. Um, I can change this. If I just click on the text box and then double click, it highlights the whole thing. I can then type straight into it. So it makes it an editable text box for me. Every part of this design is changeable. The images I can swap out as well. I can head over to the photo section, find a photo within Canva that I love, or I can upload one using the upload button here click upload files it then opens the um, do download section or the document section on your computer and you can search for the image that you want to use once you've uploaded it you can simply just click on the image it puts it into your design for you you can then drag and drop wherever you want it and it will snap it into the frame so if i click that one it just snaps it in for me. And then I can add all of my imaginary branding images into this template. I can then, if I want, um, print it out, for example, you know, I don't need to keep it in Canva or I can put it into a file because in Canva Free and Pro, you now have unlimited access to as many folders as you want. 
used to be just two for uh, free accounts, but now they've changed it so you can have as many as you want. Save it into a branding folder. You've then got access to it or print it off, put it on your pin board, your vision board, and you've got your brand there available for you constantly. So you know everything you do is going to be on brand. So there we go. Just a super quick video in here to show you how you can create your brand kit and how you can create a template for your brand kit as well. And lastly, I will just show you if you have um, Pro and you've set up your brand kit in Pro, when I click on a text box, for example, head over to the font section here and then it will show you down what your brand fonts are. So when you've added them to your brand kit, it will bring them into the font section. The same as colors. If I click on a color color block, again, I have all of my different color palettes here. So I know I can stay on brand. And I also have, if I scroll down here in the very far menu on the left, usually right at the bottom, there is a logo section. So I now have all of my different logos that are in my brand kit ready to put straight into my design. So there we go. Just a simple, quick overview of the pro and the free being able to set up your own brand kit in Canva.